Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. We are back on the water chasing schools in the evening. It just seems like the bite is hot in the evening for some reason, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. I love the sunset, and um, the schools have come up a little bit, and uh, we're, we're just back at it. So I'm gonna show you some live scope, uh, and we're just gonna go over what I'm using to catch schooling crappie. Now, if we wanted to pinpoint one particular crappie, we could certainly do that as well. But right now they're nice and schooled up and I'm just looking for some meters. But I think the big guys kind of, they do do it alone. They, they, they swim around alone and we can target some of those today as well. But we've got a nice school coming up right now. Let's see if we can't catch one, okay? They're roughly around. Let's see if we can get this episode started right. They're 40 feet in front of us right now. Get ready for a fantastic episode from Three Pound Fishing. Thanks to these great sponsors. They're five to 15 foot down. We're coming up on them slow. Here we go. They're at 20 feet away now. When they hit that 10 foot mark, right here, there's one I go out after. Not the fish we wanted, obviously. There was a lot of fish in there. We just happened to get nailed by the small guy. But uh, that's it. That's fun, man. So we're gonna go after another school. There they are. They're still there. A lot of times you can. A lot of times you can stay with the same school for a while. All right, folks. Sit back, relax. We're gonna be going all over live scope in this episode, chasing these schooling crappie for winter fantastic winter crappie fishing so we're back on my favorite lake please do me a favor and subscribe hey don't forget about three pound fishing guide service so located in marion illinois check it out if you're interested give me a call at 618-694-5162 got a facebook page instagram check it out let's put some fish in the boat it's going to be a great evening on the water So I use six pound high vis folks and that's kind of my choice I know that uh, when we do this in Mississippi and the fish get even bigger we're probably we're probably gonna have to change that's a good fish right there oh baby look at that look at that glisten nice black right there good fish we're gonna have to change the weight of our line when we go to the bigger lakes I know that might even change some braid. That's beautiful right there. We got some smaller fish there. A small school, as you will say. I think I noticed some big ones in there too, though. That's the thing. We got a lot of fish right here. So the art of going after schools, you have to adjust. So now they're right here. Rather than me touch that trolley motor, I'm just gonna go ahead and move around in my seat. And I know we're right on them right here. You'll see a lot of people doing some weird stuff on their boats nowadays. Here, maybe I'll just bite right when I do this. Look at this. There it is, right there. <laughs> That's great. Probably not ideal, right, folks? Another small fish. We don't like small fish. We don't want small fish. Using jigs, jigs, jigs. Bigger fish up. 
So without a doubt, one of the most important things you need to have is boat control and how quick you're moving up to these schools of fish. So we're not necessarily targeting targeting one fish, we're targeting just a school. We're looking at getting one or two or three, possibly even more fish off a particular school. And it always has to do with the depth in which those fish are at. So if they're shallow, anything less than 10 feet, I love to cast to them, folks. Staying away from them is the better option. And also, you have to consider the clarity of the water. So, even at their 10, if they are at 12 foot, if the water's clear and the sun's out, folks, they're going to get spooked really quick. So, casting, pitching, these are better options than dropping right on top of them. But at the end of the day, we uh, search in at least 50 to 70 foot forward mode on live scope. And when we get up on them, we're usually at 30 to 50. So we kind of scan it in, close it up a little bit. And I think that's the best image when we're chasing these schools currently. So that might change though. We're learning. It's, it's constantly a learning process right now with this new technology. I'm right down there in the meat of them. There it is. That's a better fish right there. Eh, good eater, ten and a half maybe. That's a good fish. About time. Got it with the whatchamacallit from Jinko Fishing right there. Check it out. Like shooting fish in a barrel that's what it is folks we got a beautiful night tonight sunset's coming 55 degrees cold fronts coming tomorrow it is uh, critical to get the fishing in right now before the weather really turns but we've got a lot of guide trips coming up including tomorrow I figured I'd take advantage of this warm weather first Stay off of it, just cast at it, that's even better. I can see those fish. Just... So when we're searching, we're always searching in really a 60 to 70 foot forward range as this image shows. And as the school gets closer, and you can see this one's getting closer, we start to dial in that forward view. So it'll start going, jumping to 40 to 30. And typically I'm fishing these school fish in that 30 uh, forward view. Sometimes all the way down to 20, but for the most part 30. But again, when we're searching originally, when we start off, we're always out there at that 50 to 70. The other thing to point out is that a lot of times, you know, we always talk about maximizing our screen. And, and I do believe in maximizing your screen, especially when you're doing brush piles, because it's consistent. You're staying on one brush pile. But when you're moving around for these schools, the elevation there, the depth will change constantly. So it's really tough. So I typically do leave it at around 30. And um, that's where I'm comfortable with it and uh, I can pretty much absorb everything that's around me at that, at that depth. But brush piles, you know, I want to maximize my screen, but with schooling crappie, it's a little difficult because you're moving around so much. This is a lot of fun. It never gets old, folks. It never gets old. Isn't that amazing? I love coming out here trying to trying to figure it out myself. That totally intrigues me. It's 
Tell you what, it's just barely a tick. But uh, as soon as you feel that tick, there's no weight down, it's just the slightest tick, you gotta take it. Yesterday the bite was way more aggressive, today just not so much, but great fish. So a lot of times these fish will move around quite a bit. You certainly would rather find a group that's not, but they're right here now. Wow, that guy was all the way down on the ground. Sometimes these fish will, when they scatter, they go straight down to the ground and they'll just sit there. Um, so they won't look like there's a ton of fish, but if you keep, if you look wider, you'll see that there are tons of them that are all down on the ground. I, you know, I don't know what it makes, <laughs> how much sense it makes, but that's what I see on live scope. Right now this group is all the way down on the ground. There's a bunch of fish there, but they are all the way down there and they're not suspended as they once were. I saw that guy come up from there. A lot of smaller fish too. That's a good, that's ten and a half or anyway, but. That's funny. One after another. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. We out. That's it for us. All right, there you have it. Another great day on the water. Hey folks, the tournament trail is going to start here shortly. So we'll be in the springtime. I can't wait, excited. A lot of tournaments coming up here in March and um, it's going to be a blast. So look forward to sharing those experiences with you. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Three Pound Fishing loves a ton of subscribers. That helps me out a ton. And uh, check out Three Pound Fishing Guide Service for uh, your guide fishing needs of this spring. I'll tell you right now, the bite is hot. We are having a great time right now, even though it is still cool. Thanks again, folks. Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.